Hello everyone! So I've been mentioning on my channel a lot I've been playing Elden Ring because I have been. I'm, jeez, out of the time of recording, the 12th of July, I am 50 plus hours into the game. Uh, I've been playing for about two, maybe three weeks. I am working on Volcano Manor. I am level 123. I, uh, my Uchi Katana is level 20. I've got the super long katana, that's also level 20, and my starting bow is level 20. So that's where I'm at. Uh, this is, I'm, <laughs> oh, I'm the Super Jerry, sorry, the Super Jerry's Nerd Cave. Welcome back. I love Elden Ring. I like Souls games, but like certain, what is it, um, subjects in school, Souls games might click with you later. Now, I've gone through them all. I remember playing this one day and not knowing what the fuck to do until my buddy Tom was like, bro, let me pop in. This was when uh, the PlayStation network was free and you could just download and jump in and play. Now, I have this one. Love this one. This is probably my favorite Souls game right now, but Elden Ring might take that spot because it all looped together. It was really neat and well designed. I have the sequel or the remake from Blue Point Games. I haven't tried it yet. Because, like I said, my brain was like, you don't understand Souls games. But I really think I do now. So I think I might be successful in this. But uh, I want to finish Elden Ring before I even jump into that. Uh, Dark Souls 2. I have completed that. And I don't know on what system, to be honest with you, that I completed it on. I asked my buddy Tom. He hasn't responded yet. Uh, I don't know. I'm going to have to check the trophies. I know the saves didn't jump from here to here. So I don't know if I bought this. And there was like, get it on... Get it on the PlayStation 4, motherfucker. So I know we went through this. This is a sick steelbook. Like, I probably got this after the fact because I love steelbooks. But god damn. God damn. Ooh, there's an early access. Enter this to redeem a code to black armor weapons. Ooh, I got the soundtrack. Oh, shit. Sorry. Shit, you forgot your own because uh, time passes way too quickly. Way too quickly. All right, put this back without damaging anything. Ah, satisfying. And then Dark Souls 3. I have not beaten Dark Souls 3. I remember my buddies and I, we were going through it. Oh, look at there's jack shit in this. Um, I don't know why we stopped. Probably something shiny came out. Or our uh, Xbox stuff, or PlayStation Network stuff canceled. I don't know. But Elden Ring, I have PlayStation Plus so that I can uh, summon people. I do summon people. I know I was told that that upsets the Elden Ring community. But uh, if you're not supposed to play it like that, why does Miyazaki have it in the game? Just saying. It's more fun. I like seeing these people's builds and the secrets I would have missed because I'm a dumbass. But uh, I cannot gush more about this game. I'm bummed that I waited two years to play it. Um, but I didn't... Two years ago, I don't even think I had a PlayStation 5 yet. And I wasn't going to buy it for the 4 because I knew I was going to get a 5 sometime before my death. Here I am, the PlayStation 5, and I'm not dead yet. But uh, this game, is, it's gorgeous. <clears throat> First off, it is a gorgeous game. Like, I'll just stand there, and I'm playing on the PlayStation. I can't imagine what it looks like on the PC. You know, you're looking at the Elden Tree and, and, and these, the designs of the beasts you have to fight and just the weapons and the lore and, oh, my God. So that's all amazing. Yes, you kind of have to squeeze out the story in the game because Souls games love to do that. Man, it's great. And there's so many side quests that you don't know about. Uh, I am going to do a video on, like, you know, five five hints if you're very much starting Elden Ring and you don't know shit about Souls or just mechanics that they added in that really help you out. Combat's great. It's uh, hard as hell, but it's fair. You know, you <clears throat> you got a left weapon, a right weapon. Uh, you can use shield. You can use magic. You can use swords. You can twin blade it. That's what I'm doing, twin blading it with uh, the Ronin armor because I killed that fuck because he killed the other fuck. And, yeah, it's great fucking game um not done with the story yet let's see i beat i finished the capital section i'm in volcano manor right now music is great i could fall asleep to this music um and it's a massive game like i said i've been playing for over 50 hours and i have not unlocked all the map that's insane this definitely was worth the bank from i think i got it for 49 on sale years ago um and i've got every penny back every penny back 
I uh, just wish I would have bought it sooner so I could play with my buddies because they're like, yeah, I don't, yeah. Oh, oh, that game's done. But I really want to beat Mog. I haven't really tried because um, I'm looking for some stuff that will help me defeat him. But let's say story's great, gameplay's great. There are some weird things that do bother me. Like, so you can get keys that open up secret areas in the world that might get you things that'll help you. And it'll say summoning, or uh, I can't remember the name of the key. Stone key removed from inventory. And unless you hit triangle, that won't go away and you can't do shit. Like, I remember that happened and I was fighting at someone, trying to fight someone, and nothing was happening. And I almost died until I realized to hit that to get the stupid uh, prompt off. But let's see. Uh, so you can upgrade swords. You can, like, I, there's just so much about this game, it's going to be hard to fit into a 10 minute video. If you want to be magic, you can do magic. If you want to be uh, a, a tank, you can do a tank. You can do a shielded. You can do a little pokey dude. But I wanted to do a samurai because we're not getting a proper Assassin's Creed samurai game. So I decided to do that. And I am loving it. Um, you dodge. You can, you know, you have to manage stuff. Leveling up, you have to be very, very careful. Um, you have to monitor uh, your weight load because if you fat roll, you're a dead person. You have to skinny roll. Sorry. Fat shaming, I guess. Um, what else? There are talismans you can find. There are ashes of war you can add to a weapon to do special moves that take your magic. There are summons that you carry that you can upgrade, and they will help you fight bosses. Uh, you can obviously you can summon friends. You can summon strangers. Uh, you can join uh, people's groups by putting in certain names in the online stuff. You do get invaded, you can get invaded and get fucked up, but I'm carrying like a, a special ring that if I'm invaded, people who have the other ring on will come in and help fuck him up. It's pretty cool. Just the, the, the levels and, and stuff to find in this game are amazing. I'm sure even 10 years from now that there will be things that you cannot find that, that, are, that are new to be found. Like it's it's ridiculously amazing game. Um, I haven't touched a DLC yet because I haven't beat Ma uh, M Morg, Mog, whatever. I don't know. I got I got Radon, uh, but I need to beat Morg, Marg. I don't remember the Blood Dude. He's a fucking little bitch. Um, oh, and you get so you, there, you you rest at Lost Graces, and there's little golden trees. I guess the little saplings that have golden seeds, and those golden seeds will up your flasks. And it's kind of neat with this one because I remember in the earlier Souls games. You had to upgrade the red and the blue. In this game, you can, like, if you're not going for anything at all, magic build or anything, you can have all health flask. If you're going for super magic build, you can split them up evenly. It's really neat. And then you get a, if you can find it, a wondrous physic flask, where you find shards in the world that you can put in the physics flask, and it'll uh, like it'll upgrade your, it'll help you with endurance. It'll uh, make you invincible or not invincible, but put a shield around you, stuff like that. That recharges every time you rest at a lost grace. Oh my god, what, there's just so much in this game that I still don't even know. Uh, but I'm starting to ramble, but this is an amazing game. Uh, I am excited to play... Spit on it. I'm excited to play the DLC once I beat Mog, because I'm going to buy it. And I, I, I know how I am about DLC. But there is no DLC on disc uh, anywhere. Even if you bought the Shadow of the Eld Tree... Um, special edition with the fucking statue for $200. It's just a DLC. <laughs> it's just a piece of paper you fucking type in. So that's kind of depressing. But, uh, yeah, I think it's funny now that just how it clicked in my brain how to play these games. And I'm going to do the tips thing. I'm going to write down the tips. And then the, the, I think those are the tips that you'll help you if you are starting it because you want to see the DLC or you have a coworker like my, me who won't stop talking about this game. But it is a great game. Fucking amazing game it does definitely deserve the game of the year that year oh, so good so let me know if you played it i mean like what build did you go with uh favorite weapon favorite uh ashes and and the favorite like beast summon that you can get because i like i'm doing the rot the rot dog i'm trying to level him up because when he inflicts rot upon a boss that rot never goes away if, if i do it with an arrow or if i do poison with an arrow the uh, the poison effect will eventually diminish, but if the rot dog does it on him, 
it'll keep going and you can just avoid the boss and hit him from afar with an arrow and shit but yes i'm rambling now love this game and once i'm done editing this video i'm gonna go play it all fucking day Woo! adulthood yeah geek squad